Two people were arrested this morning in Artesia and they are both facing multiple charges. And the city worked to determine the areas with the highest needs and Wagner even helped them with that study. And Wings Over Winston is here, but before we can get to any of that, I'm going to have to take a test flight. calm of Christmas morning was shaken by a startling discovery in Choctaw County. There are some simple things you can do to keep thieves from taking your valuables and this might be your best defense. West Point locals held a kids fun day today as children gear up to go back to school. Today's event is to celebrate those who have given their time to get to where they are today. Authorities captured an Octibaha County jail escapee Friday afternoon in Memphis. Winston, it has been a hot day, but there in that cooling shelter, it feels so good. I've got the half baked by oh, Ben and Jerry's. The Great Divide Bluebell for the Texas for the kid. Texas That's what we like kid. to see right there. Uh, Members of Starkville Parks and Rec say that this is going to help more than just athletics. Dr. Bill Bush was inspired to help others with their dental needs after a tragic occurrence in 2006. Diamani Driver was a 12 year old boy in Maryland that passed away from a tooth that had been abscessed and the mother didn't have dental insurance. She brought the child to the hospital and it was too late and the, the child died. And I was watching the news in Kansas City that night and it said, how could this happen in one of the world's most wealthiest countries? And I just thought we need to do something more than what, we, what we're doing for the kids. Team Smile was born and now operates in more than 30 states. They offer screenings, cleanings, or whatever the dental need is, and they fix it right then and there. It started with the Kansas City Chiefs, but Dr. Bush says they pick a sport that's familiar to the area, in this case, fishing and Mississippi State football, and they throw a big party. Like a big dental tailgate. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Local dentists, hygienists, and dental students from Ole Miss were there helping serve. Project coordinator Jack Wells says this event was exactly what they were looking for to celebrate the 100-year milestone of the West Point Rotary Club. What we're looking for is we want the children to leave here happy, and we want to make sure that, that their dental health has been checked and addressed if there's an issue. West Point Mayor Rod Bobo says he hopes the event shows people that they're not alone. To have these guys come in with their, their uh, dental staff, students and provide dental care to so many children who uh, many of them maybe not have uh, access to, to dental care. I want them to know that, that we as a community and community leaders do care about them and their well-being. Dr. Bush says he believes there are 10 most memorable moments in one's lifetime and he wants dentistry to be one of them. Everybody clap your hands. A lot of the kids have never seen a dentist before and then to put them in a, a room and with scary equipment with an environment like this that's fun and uh, supportive with the community, it just gets their first visit to be memorable so they'll never forget about how important their oral health and their smiles are to the successes they'll have for the future. This is Dion Kirkwood, an eighth grader at Armstrong Junior High in Starkville, where he is known as Mr. Armstrong for his mighty spirit. He uh, is very personable. Ever since he started school, they've called him the mayor of this school, that school. He has a lot of friends. Dion knows people that we don't know. <laughs> he, he's just kind of made his way. He's always been friendly, loves going to church, uh, loves being involved in, in whatever is going on. Right now, Dion is at Le Bonner Children's Hospital in Memphis, where he is awaiting a heart transplant. Dion was born with hypoplastic left heart syndrome, which was half a heart at birth. They sent him to an outreach clinic um, in Tupelo that LeBonner has up there. They checked him out and they're like, we gotta get this baby out of start. We flew him to Vanderbilt. When he got there, they were like, he's gotta have heart surgery. He's had two more since then, but what happened recently, we were all uh, called in to tell us that Dion was in heart failure because the, the last heart surgery was not working anymore. Back in March, things were looking up and they were able to go home with regular checkups. But earlier this month, Dion had to return to Memphis. They told us, sorry, y'all aren't going home. Dion has to go into the hospital and I see you because his heart's just not working for him and anything could happen if y'all go home. I miss all my teachers, me having fun with my friends, my coaches, all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, wait, can't, they can't wait to go home. His classmates and friends miss him too. Kim Harris is his teacher. 
the students getting the students together we are going to create some slideshows and do some video chats and create some different posters to send he has the biggest heart he loves everybody he wants to give everybody a hug he wants to please everybody he always always carries a smile on his face his mother wanda says they miss being at home but they are holding on to faith and doing whatever it takes for dion when the doctors tell us hey He's going he's gonna to feel so much better. He'll be able to do the things that were limited to him once upon a time. But now he's just going to be that person that just gets out there and just go. And that's what we're looking forward to.